okay republic of ireland two serbia three or the other way around i could i couldn't give a fuck to be honest i couldn't give a fuck at this moment in time that wasn't it now to be honest i would be lying to you if i said we played shock and football because we didn't all right look i'd be lying i'd be lying if i said that we were actually quite decent and good on the ball and our style of play wasn't the blame tonight I, I thought we we came out and we played good football for 60 minutes and we put in a very good performance for 60 minutes and uh look we were going toe to toe with serbia a very good technical side you know i'm not gonna lie here i'm not gonna sit here and say that they don't have better players than us because they do they have players that are playing Syria, players that are playing Premier League. Mitch Fridge came off the bench and scored twice tonight, all right? And he's a good striker and he's on the bench for Fulham. But he's still miles better than what we have up front, you know? So I'd be lying to you if I said that they were shy, because they're not. So I think we made a good account of ourselves, in a sense. But at the same time, come on. First goal that Serbia scored, the 1-1. One, one. Kieran Clark should be winning the header. He should be winning the header in the air. He's, he's up against... A player that's probably two times smaller than him you know and he's, he's not one the, he's not one the header and then third goal Mitrovic just brushes him off like he's nothing he's a central defender he's not like no wonder Newcastle getting relegated the way he's defending you know what I mean like that is shocking shocking defending to lose a header so easily to Mitrovic but also two keepers were out fair enough and um, Kelleher and Randolph two first choice were out this fella should have been on his line. You know, I don't know what he was doing off his line. Mitrovic is on the halfway line. He's off. He's running off his line, and it's like, did someone press? Did Stephen Kenny press triangle on FIFA or something? Why is he off his line? <laughs> like, why is he off his line? In the first eighty minutes, I was on my phone. Everyone thought we'd win the World Cup, you know, because we scored a goal, you know, and it was a great feeling to finally get a goal. Brown header, and it was a good goal. Robinson, good cross, whatever. Um, but look, I I thought we were good for the first sixty minutes. The style of play was nice. We were passing. We were keeping hold of the ball. You could hear Stephen Kenny shouting at the mediocrity on the pitch. Keep hold of the ball, whatever you do. Keep hold of the ball, and they were doing that. You know, they were doing it quite well. But then you sort of move back to the past after sixty minutes. You bring on the likes of Hendrick. And this fella, I thought he was absolutely shocking tonight. It was despicable what he did when he came on. He has 61 caps for Ireland, Jeff Hendrick. He comes on and puts in a shift like that. That's It's it's honestly embarrassing. I feel embarrassed for him. He was jogging around the pitch. And Malumbi came off after 60. And he was he was good. His work rate was good. And that's all I ask. Put in a shift. You know, we've seen Coleman tonight. Put in a massive shift. And he was very good. Very good. And if these players, you know, you say lack of quality, but if they worked a bit harder, Hendrick jogging around the pitch, disgraceful. When he was attacking, when he was being offensive, he didn't run. When he was going back, he didn't run. And I think that's partly why we can see the two goals tonight. The midfield, we started losing the midfield battle. And Serbia scored two goals so easily. Our midfield was so open because this fella did not run back and you know i don't want to talk about him anymore but shocking for me shocking and you know you can talk about kieran clark losing the two headers for me look at least kieran clark tried i I hate seeing players not trying you know that's that's not what ireland's about as a country putting in a hundred percent effort is a must you know we're such a well spirit a good spirited country to put in zero effort when you come on the pitch it's it's despicable you know i'm i'm not i'm not very happy about hendrick tonight i think he needs to fix up he needs to do better for me he needs to do better in the next game that's or if he plays i don't i don't even want to play him after that you know you, you move past hendrick and the last 10 minutes you bring players like brady mclean um collins on fair enough collins got his goal I thought Long did well when he came on to be fair. I have no problem with Shane Long because he puts a shift in. Um, McLean always puts a shift in as well but lacks a bit of quality. That's the lack of options we have. You know, this this is Ireland now. You know, we have to accept it. This is Ireland. Serbia bring players like Maksimovic, like players that are playing in your top European leagues off the bench. We bring on the likes of James Collins, the likes of uh, James McLean. It's really, it's really sad to see uh, Irish football 
uh, dissipate like this and you know we, we all know who the culprits are for that and the lack of funding and stuff in the in the top air tricity league divisions and stuff like that it's despicable uh, look i don't want to go into it right now i'm talking about tonight and tonight only overall i thought we played quite well in the ball and um, we pressed well for, at times we played well for 60 minutes and we put a good shift in for 60 minutes but these players got tired and at the end of the day serbia offloaded the quality scored two goals like mitrovic came off the bench scored two goals you know we you wouldn't see an irish player doing that you wouldn't see an irish player doing that so yeah we were out class today quality of the bench had a lot to play in this game and i don't blame Stephen kenny whatsoever he put a good team out and a smart team as well like doherty playing right wing back fitting coleman in at the end of the day we don't have the quality and it's kind of sad i'd be aiming for second possibly third in the group third i'd be happy with you know i don't think this irish team is capable of qualifying for a world cup they could surprise me but to be honest i I can't see it i can't see it and i'd be deluded to say oh we're gonna qualify for a world cup like i last time (laughs) i'm 20 years old i've never seen or never been alive enough to witness Ireland at our world cup the last time my country has qualified for a world cup was 2002 that's 18 years ago or 19 years ago you know and you know, I, I wonder will i ever see it in my lifetime i'd pay to see it i'd pay look, i'm not look you could pay qatar maybe they'll let you in you don't know with qatar I, i'm rustling rustling a few feathers but look um yeah we're building the foundation at the moment i don't expect us to qualify for this one 2026 boys 2026 are you ready you know it's, it's depressing but all i want to see is the foundations being built us playing good football and getting points on the board against good teams qualifying for world cup it's in the distant it's in the distant future you know i'm not expecting it and uh tonight i thought we played well at parts 60 minutes i'll give it to us we were decent if anyone's watching this from the country let me know what you think uh, i suppose and i'll talk to you all tomorrow that's ireland for you don't get your hopes up you know but yeah that's it man that's that's the video uh that's the performance from the boys not too happy not too pleased but look just show up next game and be uh luxembourg i'll be happy you know i won't be happy but i'll be content thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like i'll see you all in the next one and peace